The appetizer this time comes from Jeffrey Tuttle at Pauly's Island, South Carolina. It is creamy grits paired with the mushroom stew and fried grits. Then Pierre Gardin cooks the entree in Minneapolis. It's Minnesota pheasant served with a vegetable tion and a wild mushroom cream sauce. For dessert, Shane Garange, outside of New Orleans, paints, there's no other word, a beautiful butterfly using various fruit purees encased in a chocolate border. Pauly's Plantation Golf and Country Club is one of those exclusive operations found off both Carolina coasts. Jeff Tuttle was executive chef at Taping Time. An upstate New York native, he began his career there and in Maine before coming to South Carolina. He shows his interest in southern food with grits and mushrooms. They really cook two different kinds of grits. We're going to cook um, what I call fried grits and also a creamy grits. A little different in the preparation. The fried grits are going to be made the traditional grits way with uh, water, four to one to uh, grits. And we're going to let them cool and on the cooler overnight we're going to cut them into shapes. We're going to dip them in an egg wash and fry them and that gives them a, a different texture. The creamy grits are going to be made with a a ratio of six parts heavy cream to one part of the grits. I use quick cooking yellow grits just for the, the sake of use in the restaurant. When the cream comes to a boil, you can add all the grits at one time. Stir to incorporate. Let it come back to the boil and turn it down and let it simmer. We want the grits to absorb all of the, the liquid here in the steps that we added in. Again, to make them real nice and creamy. So to cook them slow that way, and it'll work just fine. With the, the regular grits for the fried grits, when the water comes to a boil, you can just add all the grits to that. Again, stir them. Again, let it come back to a boil. And turn it down and let it simmer. Now this one you're gonna have to stir occasionally while it's cooking just to prevent lumps from forming and we have all the liquid in at one time when it's all ready to go the, all the liquid will be absorbed by the grits and then we're going to pour it out onto a sheet tray and let it solidify now the mushrooms um, we have four different kinds five different kinds of mushrooms here all local mushrooms with the exception of the anokis these are shiitakes and we want nice thin slices of shiitakes. I hold them by the stem and rock the knife back and forth across them until we get nice, pretty little julienne strips. And we have some regular button mushrooms. Check our grits. And our creamy grits have about absorbed all of the cream that's in at that time. So now we're gonna add another one third of the cream. Stir that in and let the grits cook and absorb all that. The quick cooking grits take about four or five minutes for the regular and they'll be good enough to put on the sheet tray and go. And here we have some oyster mushrooms. 
And these we want to just lightly trim them. The end part is very tough and fibrous. And when you do that, they're going to fall apart a little bit, but that's okay because that's what we need for our saute of the stew here. The finished yellow grits go onto a buttered sheet pan. Get them, spread them about an equal thickness, about a quarter, half of an inch, I mean, something. And then we're going to wrap them and chill them. Uh, it's best to let them chill overnight so that they're good and solid so we can cut them for the pan fry. The creamy grits employ a method similar to that used with risotto. One more addition of cream will be absorbed. Meanwhile, chopped shallots and garlic are softened with rosemary and thyme added to the pan. The vegetables are in clarified butter. And after softening, the mushrooms are added. Crowd too many of them in there. I need a little more butter. The mushrooms, stems, and trimmings were added to three cups of reduced veal stock, which is the base for the sauce. Strain some of that seasoned veal stock in with our mushrooms. The solidified grits are cut. I like to use diamonds. use any shape you want. It doesn't have to be anything special. You can cut them out with cookie cutters, anything you want. The grits cakes are coated with beaten eggs and cooked in clarified butter. They cook less than a minute aside. Take our cream grits, portion of them right in the center of the plate. Our mushroom stew. fried grit cakes right on top. The garnish with some enoki mushrooms. And some fresh herbs. And there we have it.
Pierre Gardin's culinary roots began impressively in Dijon, France. He came to the United States in 1983, working in and around Chicago. At taping time, he was executive chef at the Sofitel Hotel in Minneapolis. He reveals his classic French technique with Minnesota pheasant in wild mushroom cream sauce. Using a mandolin, the chef thinly slices carrot, zucchini, and yellow squash for the vegetable tillon. The yellow squash, same thing. These will be steamed very quickly. Diced tomato is also used. It's cooked in olive oil. Per minute. So garlic and shallots, some uh, salt and pepper. If you came until all, almost all the water is gone, to make like a, almost like a concassé. Just put them in the pot. Fresh spinach is wilted in olive oil. Just again, salt, pepper. So to make the vegetable, let's use a cookie ring. Uh, this one is a piece of a pipe, scallop, up, but cookie ring would do. Start by putting some of the spinach at the bottom. Some of the yellow squash. salt and pepper, some of the carrots, Finished by the zucchini. The tillon will be topped with grated parmesan cheese and put under a broiler. Okay. And to, if you put it under the salamander, you put a bit of parmesan cheese on it. It's slightly pressed. And you remove the cookie ring and your vegetable is ready. And it goes in the salamander. Get the pheasant ready. It's like an airline airline breast. Chicken could be could be used instead of pheasant. It would be the same uh, same way. Only the breast and leg are used. Scrape a bit the bit the bone. The pheasant is seared quickly in butter. So then you add uh, three kinds of mushroom, the shiitake, oyster, and fresh morels. Salt and pepper on the mushroom. Some uh, garlic and uh, shallots. Then reduced veal stock is added. And some uh, 
heavy whipping cream. Bring to a boil and put it in a 375 degree oven for, for about 7 to 10 minutes. Presentation starts with the molded vegetables. Remove the tenderloin. Okay. Shane Garringer's pastry shop, Zoe's, named for his daughter, is a flourishing operation on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain, outside of New Orleans. It offers a full range of pastries, from down to earth to the chef's artistic creations, like this dessert, a fanciful item called mariposa. Okay, this is um, a dessert with a butterfly that actually comes off of the plate with fruit sauces and a passion fruit mousse. To get the butterfly to come off the plate, we're gonna take a little aluminum foil. And parchment. Bring the sides off the plate. We're going to make a template. It's a butterfly. Larger than the plate. Okay. We're going to lay this on the plate. And draw on and off the plate. This is melted tempered chocolate. Carefully remove the template. We have to strengthen the wings so when we take away the paper, it's going to be freestanding. So we place this in the refrigerator to set. And then what we'll get then is the paper will more or less pull away by itself as the chocolate sets. And you just carefully lift the plate off to the foil and the parchment. Purees of blackberry, peach, and strawberry with creme anglaise are used inside the wings. This is the creme anglaise. Strawberry. Then we just repeat. The procedure.
then we're gonna once you get the plate filled we're gonna take a skewer and drag all the sauces up through each other onto the top of the plate You can use, this here is a passion fruit mousse, but you can use sorbets, mango mousse, any kind of mousse really that goes along with fruit. Make the body. And then we're gonna make the tail with the fruit. Set and then I like that. 